this is Pelegni. This is by MA7 Studio, 813.35 megabyte on the download. And it says, welcome to the French Lorraine, shared between agricultural plains and wooded groves. Rediscover agriculture, livestock and forestry. Right, fair enough, so we're in France. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on farm manager and start from scratch, you're going to use 1,407 slots. Now, if you come on new farmer, you're going to use 1,601. The difference between the two is the start and equipment. Ah, fair enough. So, what about the equipment? If we go into this menu and then down to here, we've got under small tractors, we've got the Case Maxim CVX 115 and the Class Arian 660. On the harvesters, the Russell Mash Nova 330. On the cars, the Lizard Pickup 1986. On the trailers, the Class Carrot 140 TD. On the headers, the Power Stream 500. On the plows, the POV 5XL. On the cultivators, the Smarag 9500K. And we'll come down to Power Harrows, we've got the KG 3001 Super. On the seeders, the Centea 3000 Super. On the fertilizer spreaders, the K105. On the mowers, the GMD 4411. On the wind rowers, the GA4731. On the balers, the Impress 125F Pro. On the bale loaders, the DPW1800. Then we've got front loaders, the Q5M. Front loader tools, the Forkwood Grapple, Universal Bucket and Bale Spike. And then on the weights, we've got the W600. Now that's a fairly decent setup to be fair. You've got pretty much everything for starting your farming shenanigans anyway. Obviously there's no forestry equipment, but... All right, it is what it is. Now, what about the map? Here we are. Here we are indeed. Now, you start all three game modes right here. In the... Well, by the church, to be fair. And once you actually load into it, you actually start at the start farm. Yeah, different starting point, depending on where you are in your game. So, obviously, farm manager and start from scratch, you don't own any land. But on new farmer, you own a bit of a random hotchpotch of area so you got 103 which is your start farm you then got field 90 71 21 19 29 and then 25 now there is a few areas that we need to buy just for the sake of this video so first up we need to buy number 95 now here we are i'm gonna have to try and find them all again right so where's 95 uh, 95 so we'll buy that one there yes we then want to buy uh, 87, yeah, we'll buy that one. We then want to buy 86, that, we'll buy that one. So that's 197 grand, mind you, on its own. Uh, we then want to buy 98. Where's 98? It's got to be up here somewhere. I mean, the 90 odds. 98, there we are, right in the middle. We'll buy that one, yeah, so that's 60 grand. We then want to buy 102, yes. And then to finish off, we want to buy 104. Four. Oh, 104 down here. Right, there we are. So we'll click on that. We'll buy that. Yes. Right. So now we've got all the land bought that we need. We've got a few more things popped up. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, obviously, there is a couple of new things on this map. So if we go down to the shop menu, we've got some new crops. We've got triticale, alfalfa, spout, and mustard. Now, the triticale, uh, well, to be fair, everything needs to be planted with a cedar. And then to harvest the stuff, the triticale, spell and mustard is harvested with a standard harvester header. And then the alfalfa is then mown. But we've also got some other stuff down here. So we've come down to the bottom of the menu. Obviously, with the alfalfa, you've got, you know, your alfalfa hay. And you can bale it, whatever. But we've also got old style mustard, vegetable milk and frames. Now, we'll get back to them in a minute because some of this stuff on this map is absolutely awesome. Awesome. Right, so we'll start off right by the church where you would normally. So we'll spin it back round. We're going to go down this way because, look at that. That's a great little park area, I must admit. I mean, it's just for decoration, but still, this looks awesome. I mean, to be fair, the whole map is absolutely brilliant love it right so over here we've got a sow point so this is firewood sow point so obviously come down here sow your wood off as you would and then through here obviously i like a map with a village feel and this has got a brilliant village feel to it you know sort of styled in the french as it would be you know because it is in france mind you but 
it just looks awesome absolutely awesome so then we come around here like that there we are so we got is that cocky express or cocky express cocky express uh, well, however it's called so we've got two cell points here so we're here right here there we are so we got we've got a cocky express we've also got a bakery so it's not a cell points production chain so you got your pallet spawn point and loading in point just there that's interesting where's your uh Where's your production chain menu? Can we get in the building? No, I was down here. Right. Right by the patisserie. As you would imagine. As you would. Right, so we're going to... There you are. 50 grand to buy that. And obviously your inputs are around the back. And we'll come out of here. Back down this road. I mean, this looks ace. And, and, right, before we carry on... You think any of these houses take your fancy? Maybe you want to do a bit of a start from scratch or whatever. You can. Because if you come into the map again, and if you go up to this area, I mean, you could click on any of the other bits, mind you. You can buy the periphery. It's going to cost you three million. So if you wanted to, you know, bang a little bit of cash in first, and then buy that, and then, you know, start off your game save, then carry on. But you could, you could live at any of these houses, which is awesome. So now we're coming up to the start farm. Now it actually starts here, in these buildings. You can open up this door like that. There we are. So we've got an animal dialogue box here. This is going to be a chicken pasture. So you've got 30 chickens going in, 16 already in. Now I didn't put them in, mind you. So you've got your food in there. And then you've got your egg pallet spawn point. Now, where are the chickens? I mean, they're obviously like free range on the go because they've disappeared. But all right, fair enough. So we'll close that up. Don't want them KFC buckets going down the road. We'll open up that door. In here is your workshop trigger. Yeah, well, there's your workshop area. Oh, there's a the chicken. Well, there's the rooster anyway. Fair enough. I mean, so where's the actual... Is it in this door? Oh, it is. Oh, this just gets better. The more I go around this, the more things I find this just gets better. So there's your workshop trigger in the actual shed. So we'll come back out of there. And we'll come down this bit like that. Through to your main farm entrance. I mean, come on. If that's not a farm entrance, you know what? Right, I'm going to turn it off because that's going to be my thumbnail. I'm going to turn all that stuff off. Because that looks awesome. To start a farm entrance just there. That is brilliant. Right, so in here. Straight in. No problem. Then obviously it opens up. And first up on here, you've got a pallet and bale storage. Obviously, chuck your stuff in there. Get your stuff out of there. It all goes up the top. Well, to be fair, you've got to chuck them up the top, mind you. So you will need like a, a front loader sort of thing. Then in here, we've got this. We'll open up that door like that. We've got another production chain. Can we go in that door? Oh, we can. It's got a little shop. Oh, no. No way, that is awesome. It's got a little cheese shop at the front of the farm. That is brilliant. So in it, there we are. So we can make butter, cheese, bread, cake, and old mustard. So that's one of the new things. Obviously, you are going to have to plant, fertilize, and cultivate, and harvest your mustard to get it in here. But then you can make it into actual mustard itself. Old-style mustard. I quite like a bit of mustard, mind you, on a burger. Or a hot dog. That's all right. So you load it in there. Now where's the pallet spawn point? Is that is that going to go straight to the shop? No. If that goes straight in the shop, I'm I'm going. I'm going. That is just brilliant. If that goes straight into the shop, and then gets sold off. That's brilliant. Let's have a look here. It says storing. I haven't seen a hatch marking area for a pallet spawn point. Although, to be fair, some of them are really well, really well integrated into the map. What about in here? Does that door open? No. It's going to be around here somewhere, or it's going to get sold directly at the shop. Either way, that is awesome. Awesome. Right, we'll carry on. So, I've got a bit of storage under there. We then got a silo here for you. So, you load it into the grating, taken out of that bit. Bit more storage over there. Oh, do we start with fertilizer? We do. 
two lots of fertilizers, that's 4,000 litres of fertilizer and 2,000 herbicide and a jet wash. Oh, 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 indeed. Oh, indeed. Right, we'll open up that door. Then in here, got a bit more storage area. They're around here like that. The one me chicken, oh, two me chicken. Oh, they're all over here. Right, they're definitely free range. So we've got around here. So we've got a bit more storage where all your stuff is. Well, some of your stuff anyway. Again, a bit more storage over here. And this is interesting because we've got a loading in point and then we've got a taking out point there. Now that to me says it's a ballot and bale storage area. Let's we'll zoom in. And it's covered with vehicles. Yes, another pallet and bale storage area. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So, round here, can you open up that door? You got a little shed. Oh, this is ace. This is ace. So, we've got a taken out point of your manure for your cow barn. You got your taken out point of slurry for your cow barn just there. And obviously, your food and your straw goes in that bit. Then we'll come around here like that. You've got your animal dialogue box just there. So that's going to hold 110 cows. You've got your milk taken out point there. This start farm is awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. Right, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Because we could be here all day looking at this farm. It's ace. So we'll come out of here. And we're going to go back down to the village. And we're going to hook a right. There we are. So down here. Again, like I say, you put that three million in to start with. Sleep wherever you like. You can make anything your base on it. Not a problem. So up here on your right hand side, down here like that. In we go. Got another little area. So this is we can now come down to this one. There you are. So that's your ISO straw. So sell your straw off down here. Now we have got what looks like a sawmill. Ah, here's the production chain up here. So, Minusery Bertrand. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So, that's going to cost you 60 grand. Oh, it's carpentry. So, you've got your loading in point for your stuff. And then, your pallet spawn point is just there. Fair enough. Oh, that is ace. And then, we'll come around here like that. Out onto the road. Down a little bit. We're going to turn right first into this one. There we are. So we have got Le Atelier Municipal. Yeah, we'll go with that. That sounds close enough. We've got a buy point just there for you. Well, a load inable silo. So that's going to do 173,500 litres of liquid fertiliser. Now, according to the map pictures on the website, it's got a... Yeah. It's a fire department. Oh, you could role-play being the fire department on here as well. This has got everything for everybody. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I like it. I like it. Right, we'll carry on. So we'll come out of here, and we're going to go over the road into here. So we've got this little bit. So we've got a buy inable area here, refill silo. So you've got lime 35,000 litres in there. And then we've got a sow point, which looks like it's going to be for your root crops. Let's click on that. They are landscaper. Yeah, it looks like wood chips and stones and all that sort of thing. All right, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over the road and into this pasture. Because this is one of the ones that we bought. Because this is... It's an animal pen. Let's face it. So we'll come all the way into the middle to see where the icon is. I mean, it's going to be at a fence somewhere, isn't it? Oh, here we are. Here we go. Right. So we have got cows going into this one. So you've got your water. you got your production chain. Show pasture troughs. Hold on a minute. No. Oh. You can get rid of the troughs. Oh, that is disgusting. That's ace. So there's your water one. There's your feed. Oh, that is awesome absolutely awesome so animal dialogue box is just there that's going to hold 60 cows then over here is your taking out point for your milk that's that's brilliant oh that is absolutely brilliant let's do that again where is it there we are get rid of them you don't want them there get rid of them you want them there put them back oh that is 
Awesome. Oh, I love this map. Right, we'll carry on. We'll carry on again. So we're going to jump down to this area down here. This is going to be a buy point for you, but it's actually a water tower. Anyway, you probably buy water anyway, so just come up here like that. Not a problem. But whilst you're up here, you spin it around. Look at that. That view is ace. I don't know whether to use this view or the other one. Do you know what, right? I'm going to... I'm going to take it off anyway, just in case. So I might use this one for the thumbnail. But that is awesome. Oh, that is ace. Right, we'll carry on again. We're going to come over to this area that we bought over here. Now, you do need to buy this land because it's the BGA. Now, when you come on here, there is no triggers for the BGA. You need to buy the land and it's on. So, fair enough. So you've got your production chain menu just there for you. It's going to do... The usual shenanigans on the go there. You've got two bunker silos just there for you. But you're loading in point for your slurry. And we'll come down this side. This side's ace. Ah, oh, this side is really ace. You've got your taking out point down here. But if we can hop up there. It's a little basin. Oh, that is awesome. That being said. Where's, the, where's your loading in point for your solid stuff? I thought it was that basin part, but oh, there it is. We walked right past it. It's right up there, as you'd expect. That basin that's going to potentially fill up with digestate, that's ace. Oh, fair enough. Right, we'll carry on. We're going to come across this other pasture that we bought over here. Now, obviously, by this icon, it's going to be sheep. So you come in like that. And again, we've got this trigger. Ah, oh, that's ace. That is just get you don't want the troughs, just get rid of them. Oh, I can't play with that enough. That's brilliant. And then we come over here, you've got your animal dialogue box, the 75 sheep going in. You then got your water just there, and then you got your food trough just there. That is ace. Oh, love it. Right, so we'll come out of there, and then we want to go up and in here because, like the rest of the map, this little village area, I mean, you've got a cul de sac down here. I'm not quite sure your neighbors would be happy. For bringing a load of tractors down here mind you but you could if you wanted to that's ace absolutely ace right we're going to go over this neighbor's fence because why not because here is going to be your main vehicle shop so you've got your workshop just there come fix up your stuff is that just for decoration looks like it and then we'll come around here we've got your main shop menu in here there we are you can go upstairs if you like do a bit of role play on that no problem and we'll come out of there. We're going to go next door. There we are. Watching out for traffic. Ah, we'll go on the grass. Why not? And then in here, we've got the Cooperative Agricole. We'll, we'll go with that. So we've got this here. So, yeah, it's going to be called the same. It's going to be a sour point. So chuck your stuff into there. Jobs are good. Em. Now, we'll move on again. We're going to come up to this area up here. So first up, we've got fuel station. So we'll come over here. How much is the charging? 69. Nice. But next to that, we've got another vehicle shop. Well, workshop anyway. If that was not the closest thing to Peugeot I've ever seen, that's ace. Obviously, they're a French car maker, so why not? So obviously, you come over here, fix your vehicle up. Jobs are good. In. Oh, I like that. I like that. So we're going to come out of here. We're going to turn left. We're going to go up this road because this is sort of like second start farm if you wanted to if you didn't want to use the which is let, let's face it it's a brilliant start farm anyway if you didn't want to use that one you could use this one instead so we're coming here like that there we are so straight in no problem so we have got a taking out point of there got pallet spawn point okay let's have a little look what's going on in here so we've got vogus barn okay Let's, uh, let's carry on having a look around. You've got loading in point. Oh, this is going to be an animal dialogue box. You've got sheep there. So food goes in. And then you've got your wool pallet spawn point. That's interesting because what are you taking out of here? It says Vos, v Vo Vos Vogus Barn. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll leave that right there. So we'll come around. Let's have a little look. What else is here? Doesn't seem to be anything else. I mean, it's just a... Ah, oh, no, can we get up the ladder? No. No, <laughs> we're not going to give that a go. That's... Uh, turn on. Oh, that's lights. 
There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Apart from that barn. Hmm. Interesting, interesting indeed. So if we go into that, it's just sheep. Oh, hold on. What's up here? Oh, hold on. Here we are. Here we are. So we've got this. We've got loading in points. That's going to be... Oh, it's a pallet and bale storage. There we are. So you chuck them in here. And then you take them out of here. Oh, now I've got you. Now I've got you. No problem. Right. We'll carry on. So we're going to come out of here. We're going to come down this dirt path. And we just see this bridge that goes over the river. That's... Ace. I mean, as you go around this map, you just see more and more stuff. You just think that is brilliant. I mean, I know the download 813 megabyte is a lot, but still, this is a lot of a map, I must admit. So we've got this bit over here. So what we've got here, another bale and pallet storage. So obviously, chuck in, take out, buy the bridge. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Right, so we're going to jump across to this one over here. So this is another production chain for you, but this is one that also has new stuff. So we have got your pallet spawn point just there. You got your loading in point just there. We then got another loading in point just there. So that's going to be for your two different options. Imagine this is going to be for your milk because it's actually your dairy. So we're going to there like that. 70 grand, yeah, we'll buy that because you can make some more stuff. Obviously, you've got your butter, you've got your cheese, you've got your chocolate. We've got vegetable milk, vegetable milk, and vegetable milk. So that's going to use wheat. No, it's not a spelt. Spelt, soya beans, and oats. Oat milk. Oh, yeah, and soy milk. I've never, never heard of spelt milk, mind you, but yeah, you can do. All right, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Right, so let's go back into the map then. We're going to come up to this area up here. So this is a little bit surrounded by the trains. Now, I'm assuming this is a sell point because we got your loading in point just there and there's no taking out points. It doesn't seem like it's a transfer silo. But this is awesome. I mean, obviously, you chuck your stuff in there. The detail in all of this. I mean, just like coming down here. Ah, you could have just closed off that building, but the map maker thought, no, I'm going to put something in it. Then we come down here like this, and then we got steps all the way down to the train. Oh, that's ace. You've got your enter train option just there. you got your loading in and loading out of your train just there, which is why I'm a little bit confused, to be fair, unless I'm completely missing something. So if you can unload from a train there, how are you going to put it into your truck? I mean, it may be that it just loads directly into it. Doesn't seem to be any pipe work, mind you, but still, that looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, we'll carry on then. We're going to come across to this other area that we bought over here. And again, like previously, this is another sheep pasture. So, like previously, we can get rid of the troughs if we want to. Our oh, ace. So, how many sheep's going in here? So, 50 going here. Then, got your water and then your food over there. And then, if not, boom, get rid of them. Oh, that's ace. That is an ace feature. Love it. Right, we'll carry on. We'll come up to this area that we bought up here. So as you can tell from the icons, this is going to be for cows. And again, it's another cow pasture. And we'll open the gate. There you are. That's better. So you've got your animal dialogue box just there for you. So that's going to hold 35 cows. Again, don't like the troughs. Just get rid of them. That's ace. I oh, love it. you got your water and then you've got your food down there. Although, to be fair, let's, uh, if I walk past it again, yeah, completely walk past it. There's your taking out point for your milk. We always walk past it on the pastures, but all right, never mind. It is what it is. We'll carry on that trough. That get rid of your trough. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we're going to come across to this area over here. So as you can tell from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So obviously bring your trailer in here if you want to pick up your animals. And again... It's not the normal animal dealer. It's something different. Something built into a different model of building. It's ace. Oh, love it. Down here is your sale point for your bales. Oh, I love it. I love this map. Love it at all. Right. So we're going to come down. We're going to over to this area down here. So this is going to be a sale point for you. So this is called Souffle Agriculture. We'll come over here. Obviously, there's your sale point. But... If you wanted to, 
you can open up the door. You open up the door to the cell point, that's it. It means that anything else that opens. Oh, oh yes. Open up that one as well. What about this one? They didn't need to do this for a map. But they did anyway. Oh, that's... They could have just enclosed this building. No problem. And, it, you know, it'd just be a cell point. But they just made the extra little bits. Oh, ace. Ace indeed. Right, we're going to come down to this one down here. There's another production chain for you. So this is the same Freres Mill. Freres Mill? Yeah, we'll go with that. And this is going to be another one that you want to buy as soon as possible. So you come into it, I mean, it's 800 grand, right? I know it's 800 grand. That's a lot of cash. But once we bought it, there's some other stuff we can do. In particular, I mean, to be fair, right, it's 800 grand because it's like three meals in one. You can do your flour, you can do your cereal, you can do your olive oil, well, all your oils, and your sugar. So it's like, what's that? One, two, three, that's four. Four all in one. That's why it costs so much. But you can also do spelt flour. So not the normal four, you can do five now. Oh, that's ace. That's ace indeed. So you've got your loading in point over here. Hold on, what's this? Oh, it's lights. It's like, I thought it was going to stop the water mill for a minute. Oh, that was... I really got excited at that point, but okay. That being said, by the looks of it, the pallets are going to spawn sort of like around here. We'll have a look down this end, actually, before we carry on. I mean, they could come out of here. I mean, I must say, the hatch marking areas, they are... They're well hidden. We'll put it that way. So we've got this one here as well, so open up that gate. They're going to be in here, aren't they? Yeah, there we are. Just as I said it, we find the hatch marking areas that are in here. That's ace. Oh, that is it. Hidden behind door number three. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, love it. Love it. I mean, that water wheel as well. That is awesome. Right. We're going to go back into the map and we're going to come to the last area, which is over here, which quite possibly may have the best thing ever seen now as there is a bit of forestry on this map i mean you've got like these plots up here no problem you're gonna need a sawmill this this sawmill is awesome absolutely awesome so we'll buy it yes okay right now i'm gonna check for any doors because obviously after the last one we found the pallet spawn point because i can't see anything out here as we go around now around here is going to be your wood chip taking out point which is just there then we come back up here. Now I'm assuming it's going to be sort of like around here. Your pallets are going to spawn. Because that's what it sort of indicates. And we'll come down here like this. We've got a loading in point just there. Let's check this door. Does it open? No. Then you've got your loading in point for your cell wood. Right, no problem. So you think, okay, I'm going to have to lift it on there. Oh, no, 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 no. Come down here. Load your logs onto that. Then press B, and it pushes them off. Oh, that is awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. And obviously they're gonna come up there, they're gonna load into that, and then you sell your wood. That's it, it's a log pusher. Oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. And then it goes back down. Oh, I love that, that's awesome feature. Now, before we carry on, Obviously, we've got one more thing on the new menu. We're coming to there like that. Wood planks and then planks frame. We can make some frames. Ten planks in and then four frames out. And that is it. And to be fair, right, saying that is it. Right, this map is awesome. This has got to be up there with some of the top maps on this game. The, the detail, the extra little bits. On, now I'm stocking trees. And I can't see where I'm going. Come on, there we are. So the detail and the extra little bits of just putting, like, pallet spawn points behind closed doors when they could have just stuck them out the front like everyone else does. The details of the start farm and everything. The getting rid of the troughs in the pastures. This is absolutely brilliant. So that's your map tour done for you. Why not go treat yourself to some Andy's Farm merch? Link in the description below. And while you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.